Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Today, we are going to forego all of the fireworks, all of the introductory videos, all of the music, because this is going to be more of a tech support video. Now, I, as pretty much everybody knows, and a lot of other players as well, I have been struggling with blue stacks recently. It has been a pain in my ass to the point where it makes it even really difficult for me to want to play the game because I feel like I am fighting with the game nonstop. Well, after a comment that I made on my YouTube community post a couple days ago, I got a response from Kazan, who is a member of kind of the mole colony that's been around for a long time. Uh, he's someone that I'll definitely listen to. And Kazan left me a message that was like, hey, try Blue Stacks Hyper-V, look it up, try it. And I did look it up and I struggled with it for probably a good hour, hour and a half, setting it up, testing it, running out to different Blue Stacks Reddit threads. Finally, I got it working and I got it working by following a specific path. And in my conversation with Kazan and a couple other people, it's kind of a pain in the ass to set up. But when you do set it up, uh, it is going to solve a lot of the crashing issues. You're still going to have a little bit of difficulty getting past the title screen. But once you're actually into the game, you're pretty much good and set. As long as you adjust the memory for blue stacks high, um, the only thing that'll really get you is still the little Leela graphical crash or uh, just running the game on the multi uh, for an extended period of time. To give you guys a perspective of how well this has worked for me today, uh, on my emulator exclusively, I was able to use all 40 large NRG pots, and I only had to reset my emulator once during that. So it ran pretty smoothly on multis. So the problem with multis is it seems to run about 500 to 700 NRG before crashing. Still, that's a lot better than a lot of the emulators that I've run in the past, even some of the blue stacks versions. So it is at least a lot more reliable, a little bit better than normal. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, how do I set this up? What are the specifics? So we're gonna go ahead and get messy here. I'm gonna show you my computer screen and we're gonna talk about how you set up Hyper-V, how you go about um, getting 120 FPS, uh, in case there are a bunch of you guys who don't know that, and kind of the route that I took. So let's go ahead and put on display capture here. Like I said, it's gonna get messy, it's gonna get sloppy. Sorry about that, it's just kind of the way that it's going to be. Let's pull up Chrome, and you'll see down in my description below, there are two links down there. There is a link to how to enable your Hyper-V, and there is a link to a Reddit thread. So how to enable Hyper-V is pretty important because I think a lot of people might not actually even have their virtualization enabled. So it'll walk you through Basically, everything is going to be utilizing this search bar, right? So I'll be showing you how to get to 120 FPS using the search bar in just a little bit. Uh, but you're going to have to be comfortable going into RegEdit, going into your control panel, and adding and adjusting programs. If you aren't the most computer savvy person, just follow this guide exclusively. And I would probably stay away from my tips on how to get that 120 FPS. Now, there are a couple different variations of Windows that will show you how to do it on. But basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to get, be getting to this screen right here, which will be called Windows Features. And you can see that um, your virtual machine platform is right here. So when I actually pulled this up, I actually didn't have this enabled. So I did enable that. I did enable Windows Hypervision Platform. And these are the two that you're going to need uh, for the Hyper-V version of BlueStacks. Now, it is important to know that you can use a different version of blue stacks for me though i couldn't use the downloaded version from the official website so when i went to this forum there is a whole bunch of uh different like people who have problems with loading uh when you do load your blue stacks and so the issue that they found was with the most recent update to blue stacks so the solution to get the hyper v version to work is to actually use an older version of BlueStacks. Uh, following the offline link here by Simon GN uh, was actually the link that I used. Uh, you do have to install it after you have Hyper-V enabled because the installation will auto detect that you have Hyper-V enabled. And once you have installed this, it should work for you quite smoothly. 
Now, that being said, there is a lot of troubleshooting I kind of had to do to get this to work. Uh, a couple of the things that I did, I will pull up my emulator here and we'll go to settings. Um, I did change, uh, you can see I have all the settings here set to max. I did change the graphic renderer to DirectX. For those of you that don't know, there has been a problem with OpenGL on BlueStacks. So you're almost always going to want to move to DirectX for your graphics renderer. Otherwise, you might crash. And then I did adjust the FPS and I did adjust the cores and the RAM. Now, the reason I adjusted the RAM is because this is what will help avoid your crashes. Now, the reason I'm saying crashes is there is a memory leak in War of the Visions. Whether you're playing on a phone or whether you're playing on an emulator, the more RAM that you're able to allocate to it, the less crashes that you're going to experience. Now, if you had just done a fresh install and have pulled up this screen, uh, you are not going to be able to set 20,000 RAM for yourself. You are going to have to go into the reg edit to adjust that. And this is also one of the better ways to kind of help you get that 120 FPS in the near future. So let's go ahead and get into that part. If you guys haven't seen Merlo's video, uh, you can go to Merlo's video. Uh, he is kind of the one who kind of publicized first the way to maximize the memory on your blue stacks, but basically involves going into your reg edit. Now, the reg edit is a pretty dangerous place and you can break your computer depending on where you go. So if you are not comfortable doing that, I would not encourage you to go there. Uh, how you access your reg edit, you just go down to your search bar down here. Uh, you can't see it because my webcam's in the way, but you just type in reg edit and it doesn't matter what type of computer you're on. It will just pull up your reg edit for a variety of different things. Now, there are a whole bunch of things here, but you're basically you want to go to go to HK local machine. Uh, software, and then you will see your different versions of BlueStacks. Now, what's interesting with BlueStacks is it does install a different version of BlueStacks for everything that you have on your computer. So, for example, I have BlueStacks 5, BlueStacks 64-bit. Uh, you can see I have BlueStacks Arabica, BlueStacks 64-bit right here, BlueStacks 64-bit Hyper-V, uh, BlueStacks MSI 2, BlueStacks Installer, so I'm going to want to go to the version of BlueStacks that I'm currently using, which is the Hyper-V version. I'm going to go down to Guests, so I'm going to double click on Guests. And there's only one file here, so I'm just going to click on Android. Now, the place that you're looking is Memory right here. You're going to pull it up, and you can see that I have this set at hexadecimal, and I have it set at 5,000, which translates to 20,480 per RAM. Uh, so originally, if you come in here, this is only going to be set at 1000. So depending on how much RAM you have on your computer, this is a great way to adjust that. If you want to adjust one of the other versions of BlueStacks for memory, you can do that as well. Then when you come back and restart your BlueStacks, make sure your BlueStacks is off while you're doing that. And you go into your engine settings, you will be able to adjust your RAM to be higher. Now, how do you get this beautiful 100 FPS down here? Well, let's go ahead and I will show you. We're going to go to the engine setting. And while the game is open, you want to make sure that you are adjusting it down all the way. We're just going to put it at one FPS. We're going to save. You do have to enable high FPS as well. OK, so now it's running at one FPS and it's absolutely terrible and bitter and disgusting. Now I'm going to exit BlueStacks and I'm going to reopen BlueStacks. And it's going to lag a bit because it's at one FPS right now. I was thinking it was doing its thing. Now that the game's open, I'm going to go to my engine and I'm going to change my FPS to 240. And you'll notice the FPS counter went up and the game started loading. And it does let you in. And this is how you get that beautiful FPS that you either see on my stream or some of the other streamers that are streaming this game with BlueStacks. And now you also are using the Hyper-V version of the game, which means that you are going to not crash nearly as much as you used to. Uh, for those of you that want to see what the 120 looks like, let's go ahead and run our JP quest real quick. And I will show you guys. You can probably notice it in the menus already. And we'll run our JP up group. Uh, for any of you guys that have questions, I am probably not the best person to answer these questions. Again, I'm not a tech support expert. This is just something I literally like have been struggling with and working with for a long time now. So feels good. We're there. Um, this is the end of the video. Uh, you guys can ask questions in the comments. Some people might help you. I am going to make a Reddit thread about this, so maybe some people can help you with the Reddit thread. 
and uh, overall, I hope you guys are able to access the game and play the game more. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. If you do want to support me, uh, please use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins, or you can go to dig.gs slash offer as well. And have a great rest of your day, guys.